football's a religion. The difference is you can change your religion, you can't change your football club. Whenever I go to QPR, it feels like a family. Saturday is about getting to Shepherd's Bush, it's about W12. And when I walk up those steps, I still kind of blink and go, wow, this is my home. Best times in my career in football was the time that I had at QPR. Sometimes I lay in bed and I, I, I dream about the game at Wembley. There was 100,000 people at Wembley and West Brom had nine internationals in their team and we had none. And the QPR supporters were magnificent. Football's absolutely integral and essential to part of British society. We as human beings are tribal. We need to belong to something. And it's almost the opposite to actually creating an individual identity. You're actually creating this group identity, which gives you a sense of belonging. Skinheads, rockers, mods, rasters. Because of QPR, we were brothers and we were like all one tribe. And it becomes this very, very intense emotional experience. It's almost as if your emotions get magnified by 50,000. I cannot shout or scream in my regular everyday life. That's just not my personality. The one place that I'm able to shout is when I'm with 18,000 people in Puffetus Road. The emphasis is on us to, to make sure any player that comes there after it is, is totally aware of the, the culture and the history and the tradition that, that goes with wearing the QPR jersey. People say dreams don't come true and um, um, a living advocate that dreams do come true. It's the being as one, talking as one, feeling as one. When you score, you all hug each other as one. Nothing else courses through my veins like QPR cut me in half and I've got blue and white blood.